Hello friends, we are going to look at the island of Trinidad, that's the island there. And in the northern part, more northwest that is, there's a place called Paramin. And within Paramin is the La Vigi Paramin Lookout. That's it right there. It's in the mountains. Paramin is a village in the mountains and this part of it is a good lookout where you can see the northern coast. That's the road where you would normally come down to La Vigi. And this is it here. You can see where the vehicles are parked. When we used to come here, this was all green bush, trees and grass. There was not all of this. This is a new development done by the government. And this is the guard post. I like the entrance. I like what they have done with the place. It's very nice, well kept. I just hope it can maintain this look, feel, and everything about it. To me, all tourist areas should be well kept like this. Now, interestingly enough, today we came, there were a lot of tourist buses coming up here. And when I say buses, I really mean the jeeps, because they use jeeps, 4x4 jeeps, to come up here. These are the restrooms. I didn't go in there. They have nice flowers in the garden. As you can see, everything is maintained, well kept, and whatnot. Now, this is, they have view, the various viewing decks. This is one of them. And unfortunately, when I arrived here, this was the state of the day. But don't worry, by the end of this video, I will capture the same scene with a lot of sun. So you're going to get this view in two versions. First, we start in with this. So you can see the rain coming up ahead and it's going to catch us. In fact, you can see the raindrops already. From here, you can catch a lot of Maraval, Paramin, the coast and whatnot. I'm also panning up so you can see the woodwork, what went into the building of this place. And you can see the continuation of the road there. That road will go all the way to the Saddle Road, which will continue on to Maracas. There's a place called, I believe, the North Deck, further up there too, that you can see. Now you can see the coast from the, these various little huts. I don't know if I should call them huts, lookout areas. So there's space enough for everybody. You can choose your own space. So you know if a lot of people come up here, which they do, you will be able to see um, from various angles. So they build this kind of jutting out. If you're afraid of heights, it could feel a bit scary to you, but you know, I didn't get that impression. You can see how it's distilled sub build from that one. It's pretty good, pretty solid. It wasn't like I was shaking or anything like that. I'm leaving natural songs by the way faintly in the background so you can hear all that's around me which isn't much this place, is, place here is for cooking now I don't know what the regulations are but they have a sink there and I guess in some way you can cook you'll have to contact whomever I don't know who's in charge of this place I guess the Ministry of Tourism One of the interesting things about Trinidad is its natural beauty. One person recently said in one of my videos that it's underappreciated by the locals and I very much agree. 
One thing I have found is that projects like this, they will start off good, just like you see how this is. It's really good condition, really welcoming and nice. But then as time goes by, it's not maintained. To me, it sh they, I don't know what, what's in the budget for these things, but to me, it should be just automatic that these things are maintained constantly, especially if we want to further the development of tourism. A lot of tree, these trees still block some of the view. It all depends on which deck you use. Even the pathways have a decorative design on it, which is nice. As you know, or may not know if you're new to JV's Man Cave, I always show things in the raw. So I try to show it from the perspective as if you were there, how you would see it, not, not just focusing on just the niceties or just sh giving you one shot, but taking you as it were on a journey with any place, showing you both the good, bad and the ugly. And in this case, the beauty. It me curious what hair might be like at night, although I pretty much doubt hair would be open at night. But I see they do have lights there. Now down this way, there's a path to hike going down. You can see a, a pathway down there, right? It goes all the way, as I understand it, to the coast. I'm not going to do all that today, but I will give you by the end of this video a hint of what the hike is like. Now, if you're thinking of coming up here when it's raining, this is what it's going to be like. And this is just a drizzle, eh? but you will not be able to see the coast. So it's imperative that once you come up here, you're coming up here on a rainy day. There's a light breeze and it does get a bit cool up here. I mean, not cold. You could see some of the tourists coming in there. Tourists tend to stand out, don't they? And what makes them stand out a lot is the way they dress. They don't dress like typical trainees. They always come with their shorts and their hats and their colorful clothes. As it appeared to me, it seemed like they, whoever the tour guides are, they have the um, paramount taxis bring them up here, give them tours to like the church. I think it's the Our Lady of Guadalupe, which I have another video for. You can check that out. And then they bring them up here and then they take them to I believe the north deck which is further down and then even further on to Maracas. Now I don't know if they go all the way to Maracas but I would imagine in conjunction with other people that might be part of the tourists day. I'm kind of sheltering here and while sheltering giving you some pictures. Now look, sun is out and this is only after I would say half an hour. So sometimes you might see it really rainy, but don't worry, it might be sun ahead. And as you can see, it's just beautiful. Even the clouds are really nice to look at, sort of majestic. This is the beauty of Trinidad that is often taken for granted. I just wish we could keep all of it clean and do less development. You see how nice and green down there is? I can only imagine that in 10 years time that will be a whole complex of buildings and houses that really, in my opinion, just take away from the 
beauty of the nature. So now that it's sun, I'm going to sunny. I'm going to go down the same path I did originally and give you the same tour, but this time with sun. And you can see all the tourists. And I'm because there's so many, I'm going to use my extension rod this time, kind of tall over everybody. But he's trying to get their best shot. I like how the clouds come up as they hit the mountains. It almost looks like if it's, the trees are smoking, but that's just clouds. And it's really nice to look at. That tree ahead looks like it could have had better days. Straight up and just blowing in one direction. So you can tell which way the wind is. And somewhere over there into the distance, our Tobago would be out there. And you can see the rains going in that direction. See how turns to grey as I pan this way I'm facing west now so this is a good little spot for you to come up um, however coming up here is not an easy thing if you haven't seen my videos on Paramin you should I have a part one and this video actually precedes part two um, in case you don't know on JB's man cave I usually uh, record specific places in 5.3k as a single separate video and then the actual road trip to get there as another video so I'm showing you the, the final destination before I showed you how I got there but how you get here is actually a whole adventure of itself it's not easy you need a good vehicle to come up here I can tell you that right away it's not easy. Yeah, Trying to get past those tourists there to the other deck. This is the other place I was showing you where uh, we were sheltering from the rain. I was saying how nice it is. And I was saying how I can imagine all that being built up. I kept coming back here because it just looks so nice. Now years ago when I came here, I didn't have all this structural development. I know you might think that's not much, but it is compared to what I saw before, which was nothing. Maybe one shack or two. But now I'm seeing a lot of movement down there. Like I said, kind of scary as far as keeping things natural. And while we were here, we saw the friendly neighborhood cat. In a lot of tourist areas, I notice they have cats. I guess to keep the rats away. Sometimes cats are scared, but this one was very friendly, very tame. Not feral, as you would expect. And he was delighted to see my camera. He or she. I didn't check the gender. Wish I had something to give him or her. So that is what that area is like. Now the jeeps are all parked here because of all the tourists. But like I said, there's a place where you can go down and there's a hike. That's it there. It's right next to the lookout. And as I said, this part here, from what I understand, is a fairly steep hike. And it will take you a while to get down to the coast. I was waiting for that jeep to move up a bit so I could get around. Now in the beginning of it, it's like this, but as you go down further, it becomes uh, like a track. Well, I wouldn't say a track. There are, funny enough, houses down here. You wouldn't think so, but there are. And so the rest of it is a lot of dirt. The cement or stonework right there, that ends there. So another place here, I'm not sure what that is about on the right. But you can continue here. 
And you can see the houses that I was talking about. And you can see all the rain that was on us. To the left, that would be west. And now we're panning north, and now we're panning northeast. And we were up there, on top of there. So now we're going down. And like I said, I'm not going all the way, but I'm just giving you a taste of what it might be like. Kind of slippery today, it's a bit wet as you see, and if you come in here, you would have to have good shoes. Don't come with slippers or anything like that. Generally, I tend to either have boots, hiking boots, or if I don't plan to hike, I would have on my sneakers, but these, my sneakers, I always make sure to have rubber traction. The sneakers they make today have a lot of this foam, which to me is ridiculous because that foam is very slippery. No matter how much traction it looks like it has, it doesn't adhere to the terrain. So you go on anything that's wet and you'll be falling. Make sure your, sh your shoes actually use rubber. Anyway, so as you go down here, you'll see, notice that it's winding and it's not even, it's not a proper path or anything. So you need to be fairly agile, I believe, to, to come down here. You know, if a person that has trouble with some ailment or at a risk of falling or hip, had hip surgery or whatever, I don't recommend coming down here. It's hard to tell depth, height, and whatnot from a camera, but I can tell you it's fairly steep. I mean, I had to take my time coming on here. There's also another path here. I don't know what it goes to. It might be just this might be just private property, but again, spectacular views all the way down. And as you can see, it continues, but you know. My journey here today was not to go on this hike. That's something I would normally do is just simply to show you what the area is like. Not only just the lookout, but the hiking areas. That's part of the beauty of Trinidad. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, we could do a lot of improvement with regards to entertainment that isn't part of nature. There isn't a lot to do here, but as far as nature goes, we have lots to do here, plenty, and a lot of it is neglected. It's an interesting house. Notice the um, stilts it's built on. I believe that's also private property, but I'm not too sure how secure that is. I was trying to get closer to it, but... Um, from above, but when the security guards told me it's private property and it's um, not accessible really, so I didn't bother with that, but I did get a chance to see it. This is what the terrain is like going up. So make sure to look for my actual Parmen Part 2 video to see what the road trip is like to come up here. And if you didn't see the road trip part, one of Parmen, make sure to look for that because Parmen is a big place. But the funny thing about it, unlike the rest of Trinidad, it all exists in the mountains. So, unlike parts of Trinidad where you go up and down mountains and you would see in the valleys villages, this village is in the mountains and the mountains heights, the mountain peaks. So, it's a unique experience that every Trinidadian, every Tobagonian should experience at some point in time. Make sure to look for it. Thanks so much for watching today. Make sure to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell.